We're going to go to Northport now for an interview with Patrick Mahoney, a wildlife specialist. And Patrick, good morning. Thanks for your time. What's the status down there this morning? Good morning. Uh, right now it's uh, a little hazy from the smoke that's uh, going to be around for a while. Uh, driving conditions are, are good right now and just asking people just to beware, be cautious. All right, Patrick. Now, do you guys have any information or updates as to what exactly sparked this fire? Uh, the cause right now is under investigation, and as soon as we f find out what the, the cause is, I will be releasing that. And at this point, uh, we're just focused on getting the fire completely out and trying to put down the hot spots as quickly as we can. All right, so 3,500 acres, 35 percent contained. You've been in this business now for a number of years. I know you and I have talked before. Is this indeed the worst you've seen in, in, in decades? Or give us some perspective, Patrick. This is one of the worst fires that we've had in a while. Uh, before, we've always looked at the 98, 99, 2000 as being the benchmark years of wildfires in this area. So far this year, we have surpassed that with the number of fires, uh, the size of fires, and the drought index. And we're extremely dry. And with the wind that we had Saturday, this was a wind-driven fire. It was spotting a quarter acre to, or a quarter mile to a half a mile. And the fire is about a quarter mile wide, but very, very long. And so it burns from Northport here at Price and Raintree all the way into uh, Griffin Preserve in DeSoto County. Well, we know it must have been bad when there is an interstate shut down for part of the week, and that is right. serious business. So at this point, all roads are open and the, uh, the smoke is uh, dissipated for the most part? Correct. The interstate was shut down for about 12 hours. And just to give you an idea of just how quickly this was moving, uh, it was moving, uh, it was burning about 200 acres every half hour. And so at, at some point early on, we did all pulled everybody back away from the head because we knew we wasn't going to stop it. And so we quickly shut down the interstate and the other roads in the area because it was just a fast moving fire. All right, well, thank you for your update. We appreciate your time. Patrick Mahoney, a wildlife specialist in Northport. Talk to you again soon.